Hey everyone, it's Lana here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up and like. I hope you like this channel. It's a crafty channel. I offer vintage crafty items for um, your crafty projects. I have an Etsy shop. All my information is down below. Um, my Etsy link. We have a Facebook group and Instagram and all that good stuff. So check that out while you can. Um, what I have today is a new item that I just stocked into the shop. It has a gift with purchase, which I can't wait to show with you guys. But I am offering you guys today these beautiful poem packs from Helen Steiner Rice. And if you don't know about her, I'd love to tell you guys about that here in a minute. But each pack that you get is 25 pack of a variety of the books that you see here. All these books are her collector books and actually rather expensive. I looked this one up, it was like 40 bucks um, on one of the sites, especially for the year and the edition that I had. So I took uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of her uh, top seller poem books that are um, much loved. They're actually all beautiful garden and floral. So the, every pack that you see here is going to have uh, flowers and all that stuff. And I'm going to show you a variety pack here in a minute. But I, what I did is I took a variety of pages from each and every one of these books and put them into a pack of 25. So I had them in my shop. If you want to run over there while you can, I think I only had 12 packs. Um, I made sure that they were beautifully floral. And I added on top of it um, a vintage postcard. All of them are floral. And I'm going to show you each pack. So what I did is down below is the direct link to the shop to get to these packs for yourself. You get to choose your postcard and bundle. So I'm going to show you each one of these bundles. And when you go to the shop and check out the listing, it will have a photo of the bundle with a number on it. And you can actually ch uh, choose your pack with the vintage postcard that you have. And as you can see, I picked out the most beautiful floral postcards that I can find. So I can't wait to show you guys the packs um, for you guys. Again, these book covers here, they're empty. But if anyone's interested in the books itself, um, just message me. Um, they're empty, like I said. They're ready. They're perfect for journaling. If you're going to make a cover for a journal, the sizes are great sizes. Um, I'm going to include also the dust jacket and everything as well. So just message me. I have all these available here. I'm glad to help out first come, first serve kind of thing. All right. I'm going to show you guys the packs. And then I'm going to go through one of the packs to show you. But here is an example of one of the packs. I know I had two or three of these postcards. And this is like a felted, beautiful raised piece here. It's like embossed. And it says, uh, from a friend. And they're all blank. And I thought they're absolutely gorgeous editions. So whoever gets this pack will be getting this postcard. Um, again, you'll see it in the listing, numbered, and all that stuff. But here's the pack, and I'm going to show you here in a minute, but I'm going to show you each pack, and I can put it in the rack. But look at that beautiful carnation. Here's one pack. Here's another. This pack here gets one of those postcards I just told you about. Again, each one of these pages have uh, poems on all the pages and beautiful flower illustrations. If you stay tuned toward the end of this video, I want to tell you more about Helen Steiner Rice. She's quite interesting story if you don't know about her it's quite a story I guess I can say it as I'm showing you guys these um, different packs here but look how beautiful so I, I kind of coordinated the colors with the postcard that you get as a gift with purchase the best I could anyways she was actually a really powerful woman of her time in the early 1900s um, she was known for doing work for the public utility uh, which was really rare at that time for women to be up in power and in management. And she made her way through that. She married a guy named, um, what was his name? I ruined it down. Franklin Rice. And that's how she got her last name. Um, in the 20s, he was a banker. And in the 20s, stock market crashed. And uh, he lost all his money and investments. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, sadly, he committed suicide. And uh, so with her loss of investments and stuff like that, she ended up becoming a lecturer and doing poems and stuff. And in the 60s, her poems got recognition. And even she was on a television uh, station called Aladdin. On, it's a poetry segment on Aladdin, uh, which was really, really cool. And uh, she ended up selling, what, 7 million? What was it? I'm going to look at the here. It says about 7, what was it here? 7 Seven million copies. Anyway, so that beautiful. But all her books have those beautiful. Here's another one. This one has like a dogwood. 
but they are all beautiful pages. Absolutely gorgeous, right? Look how pretty that is. This one was really cool. I did, it was about love, and so I just did one with the like love and friendship. All right, let's go ahead and dig in one of those packs. <clears throat> yeah, so it's amazing how she has had such loss in her life and in a time of the 20s where there was such um, hardship, kind of similar to what we have, but I'm sure nothing as near as there was in the 20s. And um, she made something of herself, which is an inspiration to me. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see some of her. Again, here's that one postcard that comes with this pack. Beautiful, isn't it? I'll give you an idea what the pages are like. Just beautiful. Poems everywhere. Beautiful garden pages. Just gorgeous. It's almost like um, color pencil. I didn't read on to see if she uh, was the person who, who did the art in it. I am not sure. But she was mostly about um, the, her strong faith and religion as well. Oops, sorry. I should get in. Uh, here we go. Pretty much she is really known for not only for religious type of poems, but she was also known for love and for her emotions. Uh, pretty much a timeless special, you know, special times of hardship and uh, loss is in some of those. So just beautiful. I mean, you can't go wrong. Like, like you said, if you can put it in your journals, you still have such beautiful garden pages like this here. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, run on over there um, this whole week. I plan on doing different paper packs. The next video is going to be uh, vintage maps and atlas pages, and those are going to have a gift with purchase as well. They're going to be like a traveling type of postcard that is going to be either the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s type of postcards with gift with purchase. They should be already in the shop for you as well. And I think what else I got, I know I have Christmas wrapping paper packs. They're coming in the, in the shop as well. I'm hoping to get that all in today. I'm hoping. As you can see, I filled it with a bunch of garden, beautiful floral, all that good stuff. 25 pages is a lot, and it's going to be a great variety of the poems and garden themed. All right, there you guys have it. Thank you for guys for taking the time to watch this. I'm glad that I'm able to help you guys with some more of your crafty projects. You guys have a great day. Bye.